way you would have liked this road trip to end, I'm sure. It, not typical start that like we've seen from Jose Brios. What do you think went wrong for him today? Well, I, I think he had a little trouble commanding the fastball, and I think that led to you know other issues with his breaking ball. But the, the fact, I think we've seen him command his fastball really well you know, throughout the season, and, uh, and today it was just he didn't have the command he's normally had. And on the flip side, they're starting Pritchie Rivaldi very efficient. What uh, what do you think the key was that for him? Why did you guys uh, have some issues getting to him? Well, uh, extremely efficient. I mean, I wish we would have seen the Rivaldi that we saw a couple weeks ago before the break. But <coughs> excuse me, I think the one thing for him is he, you know, he displayed a curveball that we didn't see the last time. I don't know how much he's thrown in the last year coming off the surgery. Something he used to throw in. Uh, in Miami, but I think efficient's the right word. I mean, seven innings, 82 pitches, commanded his fastball. I mean, he did a good job. I mean, he made pitches when he had to, and he kind of kept us off balance. And at the end of the day, though, you guys were still in it, considering how many times they had the bases loaded. I mean, I know it's one of those, it's positive, but the same time it's kind of a negative. How do you assess that? Well, I assess it with uh, Moya and Mejia. And I think, you know, you, you watch Mahoya come in, you know, yesterday struggled a little bit, comes in and gets Ben Attendee out, and then Mejia goes out and goes through their lineup kind of like we saw Gibby go through their lineup. You know, fastball changeup, use his slider when he had to. You know, it's not the easiest spot when you come in and you get J.D. Martinez right off the bat. And to go right through their lineup, those are really two positives that I think you take out of today. Jose uh, did hold him 2-10 to 10 with runs in scoring position. Uh, he seemed to, uh, for all the jams he got into, what was he doing to get out of it? Yeah, I, and I think that's a testament to who Jose is as a pitcher. And I think we were talking in the pregame about, you know, his maturation and what he does. And he went out there without his best stuff against, you know, like we've talked about, the best lineup, if not one of the best lineups in baseball. And he was still able to get himself out. You know, he got behind 3-1 to J.D. and J.D. got a hit off him. But I think it's a testament of how good he is that even when his best stuff, he can still contain things. And, you know, it was a 3 nothing ball game. We were a ball off the wall and a ball in the gap. I mean, Jackie Bradley made a catch that I don't think you'll see very many guys make on the ball Bobby hit. So, you know, again, just another step forward as Hosey goes. Pitchers tell the tale, or was there some sense of being deflated after the events of this weekend? No, I don't. I don't think so at all. You know, I mean, I think you know, you, you know, we made the we made the trades the first night, came out and played really well the second night. Had that game won and ended up getting up a couple homers. Yesterday it was a close game, and then they kind of blew it open, blew it open in the eighth. But you know, I mean, it's a three nothing game. If we're if we're said that we're going to play games that are that close and and be able to do it, we just you know we got. Uh, we got minimalized a little bit by their pitching today. I mean, they did a good job. You get a Valdu pitch as well. Barnes came in and did a good job, and then you get, you know, Kimbrell at the end of the game. And uh, and so I think it was more, a, you know, it was more their pitching.